Hi, my name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. I have a card that I just designed for our camp that's in the morning. It was the last card I needed. And I'm gonna use the holiday catalog. Um, if you are part of the holiday try it class, then you should have gotten the links to all of your videos and you should be getting your packet in the mail. So if you don't have that and you're part of it, then let me know. Um, and I have a, I ha think I still have one or two packets left if you wanna hop on that class and online access I'm accepting for that class through the end of August. So I will put the links down below the video if you're interested in those. It, this is not one of the sets that we're using, but we are using the paper in that class. So if you don't have this catalog yet, let me know. Um, I'm going to be using lots to celebrate. It's a super cute little set. Um, it pairs with our jar punch from the annual catalog, which has been super popular. And I had a whole, I have a whole bunch of ideas of like what you could put in this to go with different things. Um, for example, in here, they have it with the house, and I've been wanting to put the gnome inside of it or one of the of one of the snowmen ever since I got it. But for camp, because we have a couple of time-consuming projects. I needed another quick one. So this is a quick one. It's a super cute set, has great greetings, it's year round. Um, so make sure you take a look at it. Sometimes when they're not part of a suite, then they can kind of get lost. And we're gonna also use the ribbon from Plaid Tidings. I mean, mm, yeah, I think the ribbon is from Plaid Tidings and the paper from Plaid Tidings. So I'm gonna do, because this paper comes six by six, and because I've used a lot of it in my try it class, I just have a few little pieces left. So I designed the card specifically to use up some of the scraps. So after I do a class, I end up with a lot of these, so we're gonna use those. Um, and then I had enough paper of these to do three by three squares. So sometimes you work with what you got, and everybody at camp will likely have a different color combination. Well, some of them will have the same, but we all won't be making the same card. So this card I'm gonna show you now. At the end, I'll show you another color combination. And then these are little scraps that I have of shimmer white from the um, poinsettia card that I did last week. Maybe this week, I think it was this week. When I'm in class prep mode, kind of everything just, I can't remember at all when I do my normal things. So I'm gonna stamp the jar just onto this piece of scrap this is gonna get covered up. So you just really need enough that you can stamp on it and then have enough room around it um, to put your shaker. So that's all the black we need for this card. And then I'm gonna use the leaves because you know autumn is coming. So I've got the little leaves that come in the set. And I'm gonna start with So Saffron. just going to stamp them. They, they're designed so they fit inside the jar so you don't have to worry about it. As long as you angle it, they'll go in there. I'm going to do two so saffrons and you just don't want them to be right on top of each other and you want them to be inside the jar. So just kind of angle them around. So there we have some so saffron. Let's get that off on my scrap paper. Because I'm going from light to dark, it doesn't have to be, I don't, I'm not using my, um, chamois. I will get it out for them tomorrow. This is Calypso Coral and some of my color combinations aren't maybe what I would have picked except for that it's camp and we are doing a couple of different autumn cards and so a lot of my autumn colors are already taken. So I think that's all the Calypso Coral I'm going to do. Get this off and then Mary Merlot. This is one of those colors that I don't hardly use it all year round and then fall hits, fall and Christmas and I use it all the time. It's a really pretty rich burgundy. Well, it's a Merlot. <laughs> so if you want to party while you drink, I mean, while you stamp. So you just get these in here. And there you can see it's a nice little fun leaves falling in your jar. And then I should have stamped this at the same time. For this, we're going to use the little... Um, tag punch. This is in the annual catalog. There is another variation of the same idea in the holiday catalog. I don't have that one. So here's another little piece of um, shimmer white. I'm going to shove it in here and you can see there's guides so you can do three different sizes and then according to where how big your paper is it may not have all of the the little chunks. So slide it in here. I have a heck of a time getting this straight. I'm just going to tell you. So I have found that I still need to flip it over even though it's got those guides. 
I'm gonna use my scissors instead of my finger so you can see. And then you just make sure that the paper is flush up against the punch. Because if, if it moves at all, then it's not straight anymore. And I always punch it first because if I snoop it and then I put it in there, it takes, sometimes it takes me a couple of times to get it before it's straight. But now that I've figured out to look upside down and not just rely on squishing it in there, I've had much better success. So this set comes with a happy birthday and they're already separate, which is nice because then you can get two different colors. So we've got our bath, birthday in the Merlot and go back to the Calypso Coral. And get the happy. So there we've got that, it's a cute little tag. And then you need to figure out about how much you wanna cut uh, off the end. So you can see that it, as long as I go right up next to my letters, it should fit in the punch. We'll go about there. And now when you have these little short ones, they are really hard to get in here. I'm sure, real, sure selling you on this punch, aren't I? Uh, I just am being honest. It isn't a super fast one because you see you're going to lose it. Like it's gone. It's shorter than that is. So what you need to do is stick it in here. And then as you see it come down into the thing, you're just going to kind of tilt it. Which of course you know it's easier to, said than done when you're on camera. So just slide it in here. You can use your take your pick tool with the gooby end, but mine is already downstairs for camp. So see, just slide it over with your scissors. Again, just make sure that it's straight in here. See, it's not hard. It's just, I find it a little fiddly. But if you don't have a, a die cut machine or something, then it's a great shape for a punch. So now that it's straight in there, I hope you can see, just punch that. Whoops. And there we have it. It, make, it does make cute little tags. It's actually designed, the sayings that go with it are long, so that thing doesn't happen, but I really wanted a cute little fun punch on this card. So now we're gonna go back to our jar. We're gonna use the little jar um, shaker domes, and these are in the annual catalog. This is a nice mix project here. Got some of both. And then I'm gonna take the sequins, and the sequins are in the holiday catalog. They're super fun. Look how fun, fun those colors are. So I'm just gonna take the ones that kind of match the card. So I'm not gonna use green. So a lot of the orange and the peach, and then some of the pink and red. And these you always need a little bit more than you think. Otherwise it looks like there's nothing in there. And then just a sprinkling of the gold and silver. One stuck to my hand. They do get a little staticky. Trying to get these suckers in the hol in the holiday try it class bags. My husband was helping me, and we have our windows open, so you would think that the static wouldn't be as bad as it is, but they just stick right to everything when you're moving them around like that. See, there's a still one over here, and they're super cute. I don't want them on my table. I want them in the card, and this one's a good color. These are new, and they don't have holes in them, so for something like this, See, they just like stick and that's just static doing that. My fingers aren't sticky. Now these um, punches have two sides of adhesive. So take this first side off. And then I, they do, the things might suck up a little bit. Oh, they're better now. So just lay that outline of the, the jar. And now you have all these in here, super cute. And take your little three by three strip and your jar, and this again fits right in here. If you go slide all the way down, then it's just perfect in the middle. Pop that out. And then I'm gonna take the adhesive off of this side. And then again, this just fits right over the top. And then to kind of go with the fall feel, I pulled out the planks um, woodcut embossing folder. And this is one that is an older one. I don't have the new one yet. So if you have a new one, you can just use it as is in your machine with the gray plate. 
or the blue plate if you have the other machine. Because this is still a Sizzix one and not a Stampin' Up! one, I need just a regular clear plate. And it's a little confusing. If you own these, what I would suggest that you do is take a Sharpie and just write on the top of your folders of what, what plate it needs. Because when we switch from the old to the new, they switch plates and they're kind of the same thing. You can tell when you hold these that they're thicker. And then this is Sahara Sand. My other card's a little bit different because the background piece is a little bit different. Let's get this Merlot. Then this is the ribbon. We're using this ribbon because I cut, I cut it twice for the try it class because apparently I did it early on in the process and then I forgot, so I did it again. So I have a lot of pre-cut ribbon. A lot of pre-cut ribbon because there were a lot of people in the class. And I was all, you know, all done with it. And then I go to get my little ribbon thing and oh look, there's already some. So it works perfect for this card. And having pre-cut ribbon is not a bad thing. So I'm gonna take my stamp and seal. just go along two of the edges so you can see it doesn't matter at all that that was a piece of scrap on my other one I had a little piece up here and there might be a tiny piece on this one so if you're using scrap and you didn't measure if you were measuring this then measure it two and a half by two and a half and that'll be small enough underneath your square but even then sometimes you might stick it too far to the top so just take this and trim that I don't know if that was sticking up, but just to show you how, if you're using scrap, you can still get it on there. So just center this on. And then take a little bit of your seal and put it right where the bow is gonna go. Just like that, and then pull your sides. There's a card just like this in the Try It class. Not like this card, but with this ribbon, because you know, I had to, I went ahead and just cut the, the back panel the same size as I knew that the ribbon would work for. So just pull that over. Make sure you get some right here and then just fold this up to the back. And then let's stick this on our card. And it's easier, I think, to put your adhesive on here. You just want to make sure that you're going to get right here where you know that ribbon is. Because since this is a 3D thing, it's harder to get your adhesive on the back of it. Put that there. Take our little tag. Stick it there. And then this piece is far too cute to throw away. So just put some adhesive on the back. Depending on which paper you use, you might be able to get the opposite. Mine doesn't match the color combination. So there you are, fun little fall shaker card. And here's the other one. They both have the same background. They're both on Merlot. Um, so everything is the same except for the two papers. So this one is crumb cake and then this pattern. And then this one is the sand, Sahara, uh, yeah, Sahara sand and the, that pattern. So there you go, I hope you like it. And a, a quick project for you. You could make seasonal ones of these and give them as gifts. They're also fun if you're giving somebody a food gift um, and you don't need an envelope because you can just like put this with muffins or donuts or cake or whatever you're giving them. Uh, it makes a fun little thing because of the mason jar. Everybody have a great day, bye.